Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because we need to talk about the shit relationships in our life. And for this video, I want to talk about having a standard because I felt like I couldn't have a standard or like it was big headed and ridiculous to have a standard. And I also get a lot of DMs from young girls mostly asking for advice on relationships and things. And one thing that I really want to say to all of you is that we need, need a standard, okay? Because this is what, like, it's the bar that we set that determines the types of people, the types of relationships that we will accept in our lives. And if we don't have that standard where we need it to be, which is pretty damn high, if we don't have that, then we are going to get all of these people that are not worthy because they're rude or they're spiteful or they're narcissistic and all of these kind of things. Like we want that standard to be above those types of people and that's not judgmental. That's just talking about what we will and won't accept in our lives and you don't have to accept less than. And this goes for men and women. Like this is not just talking to girls either, but like we all need a standard and in order to know what your standard is you need to know who you are and you need to know what you want and oftentimes we're getting in relationships when we don't know who we are we don't know what we want we don't know how to process our emotions we don't know how to express our needs we don't even know what our needs are you know and i'm talking from my own experience as well so like we get in these relationships and we don't know these things so we don't have a standard because we don't know ourselves and we don't know what we want or what we need so then and you get in connections with all kinds of different people because there's no bar set you know so you might have incredible people but then you might have toxic relationships you might fluctuate between the two or you might get stuck in one you never know so I think like the common denominator with all of these things is that we don't set a standard because we don't know who we are and we settle for less than what we deserve and what we actually require because we don't take the time to get to know these things and then also express these things you know like for me I find it very hard to express my needs because I don't know it makes me feel like I'm putting that on somebody else but like no it's not selfish it's not rude and it's not arrogant to have needs and requirements and a standard. Like that is a foundational thing that we all need. Both people in the relationship need to have a standard, need to have the space and freedom to express what their needs are. And yeah, I feel like it's an important message to literally let you know that it's actually okay to have a standard and to tell people about it and tell them what you expect in a relationship and also to be consciously aware of what you expect in a relationship. Like you're not being there demanding ridiculous things, you're being consciously aware of what it is that you need and how you want that to look like so that you're on the same page, so that there's communication and you're able to move through life together as a team rather than constantly feeling like you're against each other or you're not supported by the other person, you know? So yes, you need to actually know who you are and know what you want to be able to even set that bar because how are you going to know that like you don't want somebody that has these qualities but you do want somebody that has these other qualities if you don't know who you are and what you like you know so we need to know who we are we need to know what we're attracted to and why why we're attracted to it why we want it like what's the reason behind it because you could want somebody that's incredibly good looking but when you actually get to the root of why <laughs> it could be some kind of negative toxic thing and it could uncover a negative belief that you hold you know so it's definitely very important to have self-awareness but for this video it's just about the fact that you need to have a standard because so many of us feel guilty for even thinking that we should do that and like it's literally so important, it's so important for everyone to do it and not just in relationships either, like you need a standard when it comes to your work situation, your house, like even the cleanliness of your home is a standard, 
Do you know what I mean? Like we have standards in all aspects of our life and it tells us how we feel about ourselves. That's literally what it reveals. So if your standard in relationships is very, very low, that shows how low you feel about yourself. If your, if your cleanliness standard is very low, that shows how low you feel of yourself. If your um, job position, and this is not about uh, one job being better than the other, it's about your value, because money is your value, as I've said in another video before, talking about the truth about money, um, it's not about whatever job it is, like that doesn't matter what job it is, it's about your standard in the way you're treated in that job, the money that you're paid, like everything about that job and how it makes you feel, that's your standard. So we need to have standards in all areas of our lives because that tells other people what they can bring to us, like what we will and won't accept from them, you know? And when you have a standard and you carry yourself that way, then people know that they cannot come to you with their bullshit. Like they cannot try you in any kind of way because they know that you're not the type of person to accept that because you've made your standard clear. Maybe not even in, in like a, um, a communicative way like you might not have told them what your standard is but the way that you carry yourself shows them your standard you know it's not always something that you have to say it's something that you embody because it's a level of confidence it's a level of self-awareness and self-assuredness like you know who you are you know what you will and won't accept this is who I am let me be that to the world and then other people see you and then they respond and react to it, you know, based upon what you present. So you're telling the world who you are and how much you value yourself, how much you will and won't tolerate. And then those people will know whether they can mess with you or not, you know? So it's just completely key if you want to get rid of all of the negative people and situations in your life is to up your standard and realise your worth and make sure that you embody that so that the whole world knows it. And that's not an arrogant thing, that is a powerful thing. That is you stepping into your power and anyone that feels like you're being arrogant is afraid of their own power. They're not stepping into their own power. So they're projecting that on you because the world is our mirror. So you're revealing that to them about themselves. And instead of them realizing that it's about themselves, they're taking it as it being about you and it's not, it's about themselves, okay? So you don't need to feel guilty or ashamed or any kind of negative emotion when somebody else doesn't like you embodying your power because that's about them and not about you. So you need to carry on standing who you are, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna watch this back for myself too because I need to hear this message. But anyway, so I hope this video was helpful and I really appreciate you watching. Definitely leave a comment below if you have any suggestions of anything that you want me to talk about. And you can also DM me on Instagram. The link to all of my social media will be in the description box below, as well as my phone number because I do text and WhatsApp daily inspirational, motivational, spiritual texts. They're just my thoughts. And I send daily because you guys voted for daily instead of weekly. So my phone number is in the description box below if you want to receive them, as well as my music, my merch. There are so many things to list off. I feel like I forget, but yes, I think that is everything. So yeah, just check out the description box below if you want any of that information. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you have the best day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white Oh, yeah, I think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white